Hi guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to crop photos using Microsoft Paint. Um, I'm going to do this the way that I would normally crop photos in Microsoft Paint. There's probably a few different ways of doing it and mine is probably not the easiest way of doing it. But nevertheless, this is, uh, this is my method. Ratio. The image I've got is this. This is a photo of me which has been scanned into a scanner. Um, obviously it's not who I am now, this is me about 17 years ago when I was about 3 years old. Anyway, as you can see the photo has been scanned in but the image that is part of the file is a lot larger than what it needs to be. A lot of it is white uh, and we don't want that, we want to crop a lot of that out. So uh, this tutorial is to show you how I would go about doing that. Right, first I'd open the image like I have done here, right click and open this image with Microsoft Paint. Now, as you can see, I've opened the image, but the uh, the whole image contained within the file, including the white sections, goes beyond what you can see on the screen. Now, that's not a problem in this case, because the photo that we're going to try and cut out actually fits on the screen fully, so that's not a problem. We can cut it out with no problem at all. But if it just so happens that you were to have a photo which... Um, wasn't like this and it actually went beyond what you can see on the screen you can change this by using the zoom apparatus in the bottom right hand corner this doesn't change the quality or resolution of the pictures it just zooms in and out um, you know so when you're working in more detail maybe um, on paints like pixel at a time maybe you might want to zoom in or etc 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 it's self-explanatory really um, right, so now, the way I've got it now, 100% zoom, we've got the full image on the screen, right. All you need to do is, up in the top left-hand corner, here, where the select, where it says select, there is a dotted box, and click on that, and that gives you the ability to cut things out of an image, and get, uh, that, that's signaled by the crosshair, um, that, that, that's currently uh, as my mouse cursor. Now, you simply drag a box around what you want to cut out, which, of course, in this case, is the image, is, is the photograph. And once you've put a box around it and you're happy with it, you right-click it and you press Copy. Right now, you can open a new project in Microsoft Paint. And as you can see, it's given us a completely new canvas, which you can actually change the size of. Now, the easiest way I think of doing this is to make it so the canvas you are given, make it smaller than the image that you're going to paste onto it. So, for example, you know, make it smaller than the photograph of me. Um, so that when you paste in the photograph, it actually stretches the canvas, um, making it so the canvas is exactly the same size as the photo which you've pasted it onto. I, I've, I haven't really explained that in a, in a very good way, but you'll see exactly what, it, what I'm talking about as soon as I press paste. Now you can see the photos appeared. I've pasted the photo and the canvas has actually stretched so that it fits the photo perfectly. Now in Microsoft Paint, when you actually press save as and save a file, it saves whatever is in the canvas. So now that the photo that we want completely fills the canvas, that means when we save it, all that will be saved is the photo as its own file, which is perfect. That's what we wanted. So that's what I'll do now. I'll save this. I'll save it as cropped. And I'll save it as a JPEG image just because I prefer to save them in that format. Right, yo, save. There we go. Excellent. Thanks for listening. Bye now.